On this episode, I'll be reviewing the Outdoor Research Sunrunner cap. Now, I've been using sun hats for a long time while hiking now. I exclusively use sun hats. I don't uh, hardly ever wear sunscreen. For this reason, I know a lot about sun hats. I've been using multiple different ones here, so I'll kind of ping pong my uh, kind of review off of this with the other uh, hats that I've used. Now, you'll notice here over here, I'm missing a hat because this one blew off my head on the top of Saddle Rock in uh, Wenatchee, I believe it's called, in Washington while doing that hike. So I have footage of the hat and I have a couple pieces of the hat that I wasn't using left. So, and on this side we have a very ugly hat. The main thing to look at for a sun hat, there's different styles. This is in a ball cap style and this one too was also a ball cap style with these added attachments. The attachments just basically cover your neck um, and this one actually has the thing for the front as well. So it depends on like how much coverage you want and the pros and cons of that. Uh, if you get the, the cover on the back and the sides to be long enough, then you won't get burned there. Some of them they have shorter and you don't want that because if you have even a little bit of skin exposed, you'll end up with this weird sunburn mark all the way around your neck. You don't want that. So now something to also to note is I often jam this in my bag if it's not that sunny out. It just kind of, you know, gets crammed in there. And I did that with this one and this one was much cheaper, about half the price. So this is uh, about around 40 bucks US and this is around 20 bucks US. Now this one being a much cheaper build, I ended up with the brim here. You see how this is nice and round? This one, I, it kind of, it got squashed in my bag and it was like lopsided. So instead of being this curve shape, it was kind of like, you know, like off to the side like that. And no matter how much you try to squish it, it didn't fix it. So that's something to note, cheaper hats, you might have to kind of baby them a little bit more just because they're not as well made. Uh, this one I jam in my bag and it doesn't deform at all. It's, all. it's always perfect. You pay a little extra, you get better quality is basically what I'm saying here. So this one, how this works, it has two buckles on the front here and you just pop these two off and then that detaches this whole skirt thing except for the back. The back has a like Velcro here. So you just open up the Velcro and this whole thing will just slide right through. And then all you have to do is pull it through and slide it off. Right, and then your Velcro back up and then you can, you're good to go, right? So I always leave this like skirt thing always on because why not? Now for this one, it used a different style. It has, so this is the skirt that I have left. Now we'll just pretend with this hat. So what this one did is it attached on the back here above the hole here where like the ponytail goes. So this would clip at the back like that. And then these would just snap all the way around like that. So this one did go on faster, but I found it was more of like a nuisance because these buckles are so tight. You had to like really reef on them to get them to snap. Uh, same thing though, I would never take this off uh, except for the one time I used it apparently. Um, it was just an oddball one day I ended up wearing just the hat and then it blew off my head. A quick tip here on how to save your hat from blowing off your, your head. So all we're gonna do is take our, our chin strap here and instead of like just cranking it up like this, a wind gust can still possibly just tear this right off your head. So what you wanna do is just whatever, loosen it and use your sternum strap and put it through the hole and attach it to your bag. Done, it doesn't matter now, if it blows it off it's staying attached to your bag. Now we're going over the fabric of this and comparing it to the other ones. Uh, so this one has this big flap on the inside. I think this is to catch all the sweat. Um, you can wear it potentially down or you can tuck it in like that. If you wear it down, it's gonna be sticking down on your head. So here's it with it wearing it down. I don't know if people wear it like that. I've seen a few photos of people wearing it like that. I always just tuck it in because I'm putting myself on camera with my videos. As for the, the design of this, it's it's really well designed. Uh, aside from a couple things here, obviously that I talked about the back, uh, it can be a little annoying, but I don't switch it out hardly ever, so it doesn't matter. The sides here is like this mesh material, which really breathes. You can see it, there's basically just like, it's like open mesh. One thing that's bad about this is you can see mine's kind of peeling up. It's like that material that if you have a Velcro that touches that, it just like shreds it, which is what I've got right here. Like any sort of, you know, Velcro strap that just touches this thing. It, and also if this has friction against other stuff in your bag, it'll start to, you know, it's it, it looks a little, um, you know, I don't really care about the look of stuff, but if you do, this does get kind of chewed up a little bit. This is a good looking hat. I got the white one because I just feel it's gonna be the lightest. It'll be the least hot in the sun. There are other ones like I think blue and some other colors. Now, if I were to compare this skirt to this one, they're both um, kind of bit, quite a bit different. So this one, I found this one to be very like airy and light. It just felt, 
very breezy in here, especially with the vents up on the top here. And then this is just, it's more open. So I found like if it got really sunny and I wanted to sharpen that angle, you can crank this down and only, this is as far as it goes. But I found this angle, they designed it so it is like perfect. It doesn't get your face. Uh, there's very rare situations where I'd have just a, even a bit of sun kind of touching my cheeks here because this is all you get with this hat. This other one here not only had a back skirt, which is covered the same amount. This was a heavier, this is like a heavier material. Uh, so I just found this, I was a lot hotter in this hat than this one. But this one came with this, um, this front thing, which has a little metal bar in here you can bend to the shape of your nose and a couple Velcros, which attach to va Velcro pads on the, the other hat. And you could do this. So you can cover your face completely, which is also a great thing to have if there's tons of mosquitoes. I will say after like hundreds of hikes I've done, I've got like a, over 125 episodes, like hiking episodes filmed on my channel. I only use this once or maybe twice on my, uh, the only video I actually filmed with it, I think was in my Mount Albert Edward video. Uh, it was just so hot out that day and there were some bugs and it was just like, I needed to block everything out and I just kept on stuffing uh, ice and snow in the top of the hat to keep my temperature down. Cause I was, it was a, a battle of either do I get burnt or do I overheat in the hat. Uh, with this hat, I found I don't overheat like I did with, with this one, which is a great thing. It's just the only thing is if there's tons of mosquitoes, you don't have that kind of protection. So now if we're gonna compare this hat to this one, this is a really cheap junky hat. You can see it's all floppy. The, there's no firm brim on this thing. It's really light though, but uh, this is just not my style. And honestly, this thing, aside from it just looking kind of ridiculous, it doesn't protect enough. Like you can see it only covers a bit. So like I would get burn marks on the sides of my head here. So when you're picking a hat, whether you wanna go with this one here, the outdoor research one that I'm reviewing or another one, you don't want angles where you're gonna get like chunks of burn spots. It's just ridiculous. Why bother wearing a hat? Outdoor Research has really nailed this one with the size, the weight, and the breathability. It feels really light and it just doesn't feel hot, heavy like this other one I had. If you guys wanna check this out, there'll be a link in the description down below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you on the next episode.